and girls, two top best off-brand lenses. Now, there are some really cheap lenses, much cheaper than these anyway, like the Rikinen 55mm. How do you like my fireside chat? <laughs> Virtual reality, right? Um, like the Rikinen 55mm 1.4. That also goes under the name Sears. Of course, Sears never made lenses, but they're uh, Rikinen brand lenses. Um, uh, Rakeen and lenses are branded by Sears, like the 55mm 1.4. There's some other really awesome cheap lenses. Now, the two best, where price is not a concern, and price is a concern for everybody, including me, for the Fujifilm. Now, one of these would require an adapter, you know, a $16 adapter. Um, this lens, by the way, is a Lamborghini for the price of like a, a used old Volkswagen. There's nothing finer on this earth, uh, quality to price wise, than this. And I've probably had God knows how many thousands of people buy this lens off my recommendation. You can buy it for a Nikon too and get it a Nikon mount, get a Fuji. A Nikon after Fuji X mount is a Voigtlander 58mm 1.4. Perfect for portraiture. Now, these are manual focus lenses. If Fuji made this lens, I would recommend this as the top number one must-buy Fuji film lens. In other words, if of course Fuji is not making manual focus lenses for their X series, but if you have a problem with manual focus lenses, you might be you, know, you got peaking for crying out loud. You know, people that are rocking a Fuji film camera, which has much better peaking than Sony, by the way. Not my opinion. That's a fact. You know, if you have an issue with manual focus lenses on a Fuji film, then you just there's something wrong with you. Something slightly wrong with you. This would be my top recommended number one Fuji film lens. That is the Zhongyi. Yeah, it's made in China. My God, it is made so well. The rounded aperture blades, the construction, it's really heavy. It is a Fuji X mount lens. Um, apparently, a lot of people have been buying this off my recommendation because it's um, it's sold out everywhere except the same lenses available in silver. I see that those are still available. Is the Zhongyi? It's the um, Speedmaster. It's the 35 millimeter. F 0.95. What? Yeah, it's F 0.95. The bouquet on this lens is incredible. The resolution is incredible. The build quality is incredible. Absolutely everything on this, everything, I think currently priced on it's 550. Everything on this lens is just absolutely unbelievable, just freaking incredible. Those are my two number one off brand Fujifilm recommended lenses. Now, these are not the cheapest. I mean, you know, I have uh, also awesome alternatives, like I said, the Rakeen in 55.14, which averages about $130 on eBay. You need to buy an adapter for that. That's an M42 lens, but uh comes to adapted lenses, I mean, I'm all for the really cheap, you know, $30, $40, $50 lenses, and I got plenty of them. But my top two picks are these two lenses where prices are relevant, which... It is never irrelevant on Fujifilm. This lens is incredible. Literally, if I could have like one lens welded permanently to one of my Fujifilm cameras, it would be this damn lens. I could do everything with it. I love it. The peaking on it's incredible. Some lenses, if they're poorly designed optically, the peaking on them is not so hot. This one is incredible. The bouquet at, uh, on this lens at f0.95 is 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 crotch melting. What a lens. You could ignore the fact that this is made in China. The build quality is nearly as good as this Japanese Voigtlander. Really one hell of a lens. I forgot the number of rounded aperture blades on this. I thought it was 11. It could be 9 or 7. There's a little trick too, by the way, if you ever want to blow the lens, blow dust off the front of the lens. You never blow on it because you're going to spit on it. You actually cup your hand over the top of it and go like this. So you're blowing at your hand, so you're never spitting on the lens, and that air will blow the dust off your lens. Another one of those little oddball tricks that everybody should learn how to do. That's it. Thank you so much for watching. I've been asked to make this video, and there it is. Like, what's the best off-brand lenses for Fujifilm that you could recommend? And there they are. $400 used all day long. New, 500 You never see these used. You know why? Because everybody that has this lens is never going to get rid of it. $550 new, I believe. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. Okay? Okay. Goodbye. <laughs>